The U.S. energy storage market is growing substantially. So GTM research found in 2015 that the market grew 251% in megawatt terms over 2014. And this year, GTM research is forecasting 27% growth over 2015. There's a lot of drivers behind that growth. We're seeing a lot of storage system costs come down. We're seeing a lot more adoption of behind the meter solar PV, which is encouraging a lot of growth behind the meter. But more interestingly, we're seeing a lot of CNI customers who are interested in reducing their electricity bills. And one way to do that is via demand charge management, which essentially uses an energy storage system to shave peak demand and thus reduce electricity bills pretty substantially. We've been connecting to the grid and designing equipment for purpose-built applications for literally 50 plus years. In the mid-2000s, we targeted energy storage as a specific market for us. And we didn't take a product that had already been designed. We really started from a blank sheet of paper. And that strategy allowed us to come into that market unfettered. You know, what's the best controls, the best software, the best mechanical packaging to allow us to deliver a, really an entire suite of power electronics products for energy storage specifically. As that product line was really maturing and emerging as impactful in the market, we took our focus and, and started to drive it down into the lower CNI space where we started developing the micro power system product line. This is our generation two of our MPS product. It supplements our CPS product line, which is utility scale, taking in a lot of input from our customers and also understanding uh, what we learned from our Gen 1 product deployment to take a really large step forward to create the Gen 2 product. One of the major differentiations to the Gen 2 product is a very low acoustic signature, which is really important when we have customers installing these at box stores, resorts, and load sites where there's uh, either employees or customers nearby. We're designing very flexible hardware platforms with control boards and controllers that can be updated remotely. So as customers are asking for new features and functions and applications, we'll be able to upload and update the firmware to the latest and greatest remotely once that's improperly certified and validated. So adding the MicroPower system product line really allowed us to cover 80% of that projected market share and it was, I think, the right move for us to solving those problems across a wide spectrum. We're seeing a lot of companies that offer CNI energy management solutions beginning to include storage in the portfolio itself. So whereas customers in the past would be looking at things like LED lighting or other building automation infrastructure, now they're starting to add storage as well to those packages to shave peaks or provide additional resiliency in some cases. One of the projects we were doing was on top of a landfill. It was about two and a half megawatts of solar. And we quickly realized like we should look at an opportunity to add storage here. That's where a partner like Dynapower has been invaluable. From the peak shaving, energy shifting, regulation, power quality, islanding of an emergency shelter, to manage the grid, deal with the intermittencies and fluctuations of these resources, and doing that in a very low or carbon free way, battery storage is gonna be key to getting us the flexibility that we need to do this transformation that we want to make. We want to ensure we've done the highest degree of reliability engineering to deliver a strong product to the market. Being able to deploy energy storage in a time scale that is measured in a few months, not a year, to solve a real world problem means energy storage has arrived as a technical and a commercial solution to some of the world's most challenging energy needs. 